Then we get on to our freestanding units, and the one on the upper right is the prep start unit. That's the freestanding unit that you can tap into any type of airline into your office. And generally, the airline you can tap into will give you a lot more PSI or a lot more pounds per square inch of pressure. The dictation of what you're getting out of your unit is always going to be dependent upon your pounds per square inch, meaning how much force, how fast is the particles coming out and engaging with its medium to cause some type of reaction. Um, the controls on this is a little bit different as compared to the chair side hookups because if you look on these, and you could obviously go onto the websites and take a look at these components, but you've got the ability to control flow and pressure with those dials, which is very, very nice. The unit on the left has what we would call the prep start, but it has a power plus pack. So if for some reason your office doesn't have the ability to get that energy we need to do some satisfactory abrasion, then you can simply buy a power pack unit that will increase the PSI directed through the unit. Really a nice feature. And then if you look at the bottom unit down here, the Prep Start H2O, that's the newest, greatest evolution of the Prep Start. And what we've added to that is a separate water unit that we can or we cannot use, depending if you want to switch that on or off. But we'll show you later the real benefit of that water can be twofold. One for help cleaning the mess as it inhibits the dust from spraying around, and I'll show you how that works. But also you can put warm water and you can put various components in there to help with your patient's soothing on a sensitive tooth or anything like that. So some nice features to think about as we move forward. But if you look at the difference in terms of air abrasion, we've got a micro etch unit. Okay, that's the chair side hookup. And generally we'll call that micro etching. And the reason why we do that is because we're a little bit more limited than we are in the freestanding units. So with the micro etcher, we can simply do limited pit and fissure preparations. We can use it for etching of our restorations prior to bonding, intraoral repair, uh, porcelain repair removing cement for cementation, or re-cementation, excuse me, from the internal crowns that which most of us are used to using for, and even use it on some limited stain removal type aspects that we can get into a little bit there. But if you compare that to a true total air abrasion unit like I would with the Prep Start H2O, you get all of the above, but now we're gonna start throwing in the ability to do more intrinsic cavity preparations without the use of anesthetic being the key feature. And obviously we can do more in terms of stain remover and being big, broader aspects of what this um, bigger unit can do for us. So those are really the big things that we look at when we compare a micro etcher to a total air abrasion unit. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish in your particular practice, you can be directed either way with these particular units.